In this video, we will learn how to tell the time using past and to. We have already seen in other videos how to read full hours, minutes, and time in 24 hours. And in this video, we are going to learn how to read the clock but in a different way. First of all, I will remind you that the big blue hand shows the minutes and the little red hand shows the hours. And we have learned that on the clock face, the minutes skip count 5 by 5. Also, we have already said that the large hand goes around the clock face 60 minutes in one hour. So, let's write 60 above the 12 in order not to forget it. And of course, we start to read the hours first, then the minutes. For example, here it is 10.40. But there is a different way to tell the time. Let's find it out. The minute hand is not yet on the number 12, it's on the number 8, so it's 40 minutes and we still need 20 minutes to go back up to the number 12, which represents 60 minutes. So pay attention, when the number of minutes is more than 30, which is more than half an hour, the time is closer to the next hour. So in this case, we say the number of minutes remaining till the next hour. So we subtract our number of minutes from 60. So 60 minus 40 equals 20. When the large minute hand moves 20 minutes, it will be back up at the number 12 and the small hour hand will be at the number 11. So 1040 is also 20 minutes to 11, which means it still needs 20 minutes to be 11 o'clock. Here it is 250 and there are 10 minutes left to be 3 o'clock. So it's 10 minutes to 3 or we can say 10 to 3. So we should figure out how many minutes that the minute hand needs to move to the next whole hour. Another example, here it is 6.55 and there are 5 minutes left to be 7 o'clock. So it's 5 minutes to 7 or 5 to 7. Here it is 8.45 and there are 15 minutes left to be 9 o'clock. Since there are only a quarter of an hour to reach the next whole hour. So here it is quarter to 9. I remind you again that when the large hand is pointing on the number 3, we say 10.15 or quarter past 10, since a quarter of an hour is equal to 15 minutes. And when the large hand is pointing on the number 6, we say 10.30 or half past 10, because we did half an hour, half an hour is equal to 30 minutes. You have to memorize very well the missing numbers that gives us 60 in order to know each time how many minutes are left to go back up to 12. On this clock face, I have placed the important minutes to remember them. If the large hand is pointing on the number 7, then it's 25 minutes too. If it's pointing on the number 8, it's 20 minutes too. On the number 9, it's quarter to. On the number 10, it's 10 minutes to. And on the number 11, it's 5 minutes to. And of course, remember to say quarter past when the large hand is pointing on the number 3 and half past when the large hand is pointing on the number 6. And here are some clocks try to read the hours and the minutes in several ways. And here are the answers. 